Hey guys, it's Janice. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite apps on the iPad to help me focus and stay productive. So let's get started. My favorite app right now to manage my tasks and to-do list is Microsoft To-Do. It has a really simple interface, which I really like, and you can also create categories for your to-dos. So what I did here was just make a different to-do list for each of my courses and then add the tasks under each course. I usually just like to lay out everything that's due for the rest of the semester so I don't have to go back into my syllabus or anything to retrieve that information. I've been using this app on my iPad, my phone, as well as my computer so I can sync the information among all the devices and just conveniently access my to-do list from any device. My next favorite app is Google Calendar and I use this a lot for marking due dates for assignments and exams. It's just something that I can quickly refer to without having to go into my syllabus because I have it all on my calendar. So this is just an example of how I would input a reminder for an exam. I would input the exact time, the location of the exam, so which building it's being held in. I might also just make a quick note about the content that the exam is going to be testing us on. And also I would make this event red because red is the most urgent one to me. And I use red a lot for exams and quizzes. So just by looking at the calendar, I know that I have a quiz or exam coming up. So the next app that I want to talk about is called Spectrum. And it's a really great app that is really useful for students or professionals in healthcare. So it starts off by asking you which health authority or professional organization you work for, and then what your role is within that organization or authority. And then it gives you a lot of diagnosis and treatment guidelines for a bunch of different conditions like aspiration pneumonia, cellulitis, etc. It's not really an exhaustive list of conditions but it does have a lot and it kind of also categorizes them into adult or pediatric. Along with that Spectrum also gives you a lot of information on different kinds of pathogens. Spectrum gives you very specific details on any contact precautions to take, the susceptibilities of each pathogen, epidemiology, associated syndromes, just a lot of information that might be useful to you in your practice. It also has a pretty big list of common antimicrobial medications so you can learn Learn about the spectrum of activity, interactions, pharmacology, dosing, side effects to look out for, etc. I don't use this app all the time, but I do think it's a really nice application to refer to because it has a lot of comprehensive information that is relevant to my practice as a nursing student. So next up is Microsoft Word. Surprisingly, this application is actually quite comparable to the full thing on the computer. I usually use this app just to edit my papers on the go if I'm not at the computer. And what I like about it is the added ability to just make annotations with the Apple Pencil. Next up is one of my all-time favorites, and that's Google Sheets. If you've seen my past videos or follow me on Instagram, you know that I use this method a lot for courses like pathophysiology and pharmacology. This is a method developed by another YouTuber here, but essentially it's just very convenient for me because I can edit the sheets on my computer and just bring it around with me on the iPad so I can keep on reviewing and keep on testing myself so I can earn those good grades on my exams. Google Drive is also one of my all-time favorites. I cannot live without this app for school. It makes my workflow a lot more efficient because I can easily share files among my devices, considering I also don't have an iPhone. I also love using this to store past schoolwork and also textbooks so I can save space on my computer. You guys know that I'm also a huge fan of GoodNotes, and this is my main note-taking app on the iPad. I love the organization, the customization, and the writing experience. So this is where pretty much everything goes down. So my lecture notes, my review notes, and also PDF annotations. I've imported a couple textbooks that I've been using pretty often this semester, and it's been really helpful for me to just highlight and write things right on the page. So unless, you know, something better comes out, I'll be using this for a really long time. Next up is Notability. Now I don't use this app as often, but one of the key things about it is the ability to record audio. It is a bit more rigid when it comes to customization, but it is my go-to if I need to be annotating and recording audio at the same time. I also use this really cool app called Noteblock, and this is for scanning documents. So all you really have to do is just lay the piece of paper flat on a table, take a picture of it using the application, adjust the corners and size of the paper and then it turns it into a perfectly crisp scanned document. Now the last one I want to mention is Noisly. So I use their website a lot on the computer. Noisly essentially lets you choose from a lot of different background noises to help you focus and be productive when you're working. You can turn on a single noise or mix a bunch of them and adjust the volumes. I like to use this in conjunction with some calming Spotify music as well. 
So thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell to know when my next videos are. Thanks for watching!